Okay. Pastor. Good evening. I'm Pastor Ernie Roblock from the First Baptist Church in East Providence. Um, my testimony will be brief because on, the, on behalf of 138 Bible-believing, Bible-teaching churches in the state of Rhode Island, we have submitted a resolution for your consideration. It amounts to over 20,000 signatures and churches uh, across the state of Rhode Island. So we partner with the Catholic Church to stand in our opposition to same-sex marriage. But what I want to address tonight, and it will be brief, is this issue of civil rights. Because coming up this Monday, January 22nd, we remember America's foremost civil rights activist, the Reverend Martin Luther King, Jr., Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., who gave his life for civil rights. One of his most fam famous speeches was the, the speech, I've been to the mountaintop. It was delivered on April 3rd, 1968. It was delivered at a church, the Mason Temple, which is the Church of God and Christ headquarters nationally. And this is what the, the, a, a bit of what the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, because I want you to understand uh, that he is very much a civil rights activist, but if he were alive today, he would not be here advocating for same-sex marriage. He said, you know what's beautiful to me is to see all these ministers of the gospel. It's a marvelous picture. Who is it that is supposed to articulate the longings and aspirations of the people more than the preacher? Somehow the preacher must have a kind of fire shut up in his bones. And whenever injustice is around, he tells it. Well, let me tell you, the ministers that he spoke to were in the hundreds and perhaps thousands that night. Forty-five years later, the Church of God in Christ denomination is written up for their position on same-sex marriage. And you can look at this not on any pro uh, pro-traditional marriage website, but on the website that has been posted by the Human Rights Commission, which is the advocacy group of the le uh, lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community. This is what they say. They say, marriage according to the church and God in Christ, which the Reverend Martin Luther King spoke to, is for procreation only, ignoring the fact that millions of gay and lesbian people are, in fact, raising children through a variety of means, the church asserts that only heterosexual couples should be entitled to marriage. Thank you, Reverend. Your time is up. Oh, please. Can I just have one, uh, more, one more second? Please? Go ahead. Thank you very much. One of the civil rights activists of, that was contemporary was the Reverend Owens, William Owens. And he said this year, for activists, politicians, and now the highest office in the nation to link sexual behavior, God calls sin to the righteous cause Martin Luther King gave his life for is abominable in and of itself. There is no civil right to do what God calls wrong. Thank you. Thank you very much. Karen.